Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. This is an excerpt from the book of Saints of the Roman Calendar by Enzo Lodi about blessed Pope John Paul II, whose feast day is on October 22. Have a listen, but first... At the time of his death on April 2, 2005, devotion to Pope John Paul II was already widespread, and cries of Santo Subito, Saint Now, rose spontaneously in St. Peter's Square following his passing. He was beatified by Pope Benedict XVI before a crowd of over one million people on May 1, 2011, in front of St. Peter's Basilica. Beatified individuals are not typically inscribed on the Church's universal calendar. An exception was made on behalf of Blessed Pope John Paul II. He was elected to the papacy on October 16, 1978, and on October 22 began his ministry as Shepherd of the Universal Church. As Pope, he made 146 pastoral visits in Italy, and as Bishop of Rome, he visited 317 of the 332 parishes in Rome. The apostolic trips he made throughout the world, an expression of his constant pastoral solicitude, a successor of St. Peter for the whole church, added up to a total of 104. Among the primary documents which he wrote are 14 encyclicals, 15 apostolic exhortations, 11 Apostolic Constitutions, and 45 Apostolic Letters. Also wrote numerous other works, including five books, Crossing the Threshold of Hope, Gift and Mystery on the 50th Anniversary of My Priesthood, Roman Triptych, Meditations, Rise, Let Us Be on Our Way, Memory and Identity. He presided over 147 beatifications, declaring 1,338 beatified, and 51 canonizations, proclaiming a total of 482 saints, also officiated in nine consistories, thereby creating 231 cardinals, and presided at six plenary reunions of the College of Cardinals. On May 13, 1981, Pope John Paul II was the victim of an attack in St. Peter's Square. Having been saved by the maternal hand of the Mother of God and following a long recovery, he forgave his attacker. Grateful for the gift of new life, he intensified his pastoral work with heroic generosity in spite of the Parkinson's disease which ultimately led to his demise. He inaugurated moments of particular spiritual intensity, such as the year of the Redemption, the Marian year, and the Eucharistic year, as well as the Great Jubilee of the year 2000. He also attracted younger generations by the celebration of World Youth Days. No other Pope has ever encountered as many people as Pope John Paul II. The number of pilgrims at the Wednesday General Audiences alone more than 1,160 audiences came to over 17 million pilgrims, to say nothing of the special audiences and other religious services, and the other millions of faithful that he met during the apostolic visits in Italy or the throughout the world. Numerous government officials were also received in audience. There were 38 official visits and further 738 audiences or meetings with heads of states, along with 246 visits with prime ministers. John Paul II died in the Vatican's Apostolic Palace on Saturday, April 2, 2005, at 9.37 p.m. on the vigil of the Sunday in Albis, also commemorated as Divine Mercy Sunday which he had instituted. On April 8, John Paul II was buried in the Vatican Grotto following the solemn funeral celebrated in St. Peter's Square. 
In the opening prayer of today's Mass, there are two items of note. In the first line, we find the phrase, Rich in mercy, which in Latin, Dives in Misericordia, is the title of Blessed Pope John Paul II's 1980 encyclical. It is only fitting that he who canonized Sister Faustina of Divine Mercy fame, who established the Feast of Divine Mercy for the Universal Church, and who died on the vigil of and was beatified on this feast, would have the phrase rich in mercy in the opening prayer of the Mass in his honor. Second, the last line contains the phrase Redeemer of Mankind. The title of his very first encyclical letter in 1979. The one that would set the tone for his entire pontificate. Its opening words are, The Redeemer of Man, Jesus Christ, is the center of the universe and of history. How fitting that he who had dedicated his long life and unspeakable suffering to spreading the message of the mercy and saving grace of Christ, O God, who are rich in mercy, and who willed that the blessed John Paul II should preside as Pope over your universal church, grant, we pray, that instructed by his teaching, we may open our hearts to the saving grace of Christ and the sole Redeemer of mankind, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.